learning materials, training aids. Learning aids, training materials. These are all interchangeable names for the same documents and materials that you would use to help your learners through a particular training session. So today we're gonna to look at creating a couple of training aids from the session plan that you've already created. Now, one of those training aids we've already done, which is the PowerPoint presentation. That's a visual aid to your learners. So we're gonna look at paper-based aids today. But for now, as I mentioned, we're gonna go through creating a couple of those based on what we've already decided to do within our training session. And they are a Q&A at the end and an activity for one of the key learning points. So let's have a look. For the Q&A at the end, I thought I'd create a fill in the blanks kind of handout. So an easy way to start is with a blank document here on the right, and here's our session plan on the left. I've already got the answers in there, so I'm just simply going to paste those over to this page, remove the correct answers. Space them out, create the text that I'd like them to be in, which will be my standard text. Move it across a bit, and I'll give it a heading, which is a review of today's lesson. Now I mentioned it was a fill in the blanks, so I'll put in a line for them to actually answer each of the questions. There's a couple of ways to put a line in. If you simply use the shift key and the minus sign, hit that a couple of times and press enter, it'll give you a line. So I might do that a couple of times under each one. If you get into any sort of issues with Word and you can see that it's not quite aligned to the left, just have a look at your margins up here and, and do that. Any extra spaces, blank out. So I'll continue on down the line. If you can see here, the font here has decided not to change. That's easy enough. We can click on the entire number set, change the font to exactly what you want, which is 14, bold, and there we go. So without too much effort, that's a nice little printout that you can give to everybody so that they can fill out their answers. As far as a question and answer activity goes, they can take away the answers with them as opposed to just seeing it on the board. That produces what they call an active recall effect as opposed to a passive recall effect, which is just looking at the answers on the screen. For the second piece of training material, I would like to use the same piece of paper. So I'm just going to insert a page break here to move this to the next page and use this page as a foundation for our learning activity over here. Now the learning activity is to come up with a list of dot points that you consider important features of a workplace consultation. So there's a couple of things that I'm gonna take away from this, not the in pairs, but I'm gonna take away the five minutes because that's the time limit and also the question, just so I know what I'm writing over on this page. So I'm gonna copy and paste that over to my blank page and I'm gonna reword it a little bit. I'm gonna say create a list of dot points that you consider important features of a workplace consultation. And I'm gonna put the five minutes in brackets. So if you consider yourself from a student's point of view, they can read along with your verbal instructions and they've got that there at their fingertips. They can see that it's five minutes, they can read along with what you're saying and they have a much better idea of what is expected of them. And if needed, they can reread this at any time. So consider important features of workplace consultation. And what I would like to do is keep it a bit more formal. So I'm gonna insert a table with two columns and I'm gonna prompt them with about six rows. Now to make a table bigger, simply drag it like that. You don't have to go in there and press enter all the time. You simply drag it from the corner and it evenly spaces everything. So I'll just move this row across to make these the dot points and I might number them. So again, it's prompting them to come up with around six. If they don't come up with that many, that's okay. And I'll sell a line, center these. And if I really want it to maybe look a little bit more like the rest of my presentation, I will color the background in that blue and I'll make my text white. And I've changed my mind about the font. I'll keep the font the same. Okay, so now you've got one piece of paper maybe printed on both sides with the first activity and the second activity ready to go.